up guys, Vish here from NFA Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a software I created. Hopefully that's going to help anyone watching here out. So, definitely this is going to be a subscriber release, so anyone who plans to download this, or you know, if you download it and you like it, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel, because we have a lot of Minecraft content. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Pretty much what you got here is this little window, and all you got to do is select two different versions of Minecraft that you want to switch between and every time you load this application it'll go ahead and just have those jars preloaded for you all you gotta do is click one button and you can switch between them and what's neat about this is that it's really customizable and I'll show you right now you guys can see I got the version labels here but all I gotta do if I open up the mc.ini file you can open it in really any text uh, text viewer and your notepad works fine you can just go ahead and type in whatever you want if you want to type in um, type in some texture pack names like I know there's LB realism which is what I use um, I know Missa is another one that people use you can go ahead and just type those in as the uh, old version new version really I had it for mainly I created this for version switching but I realized that there's a lot of different uses so you could just go ahead and it's really just for your own knowledge if you put in one jar at the top one jar at the bottom you could switch between them it doesn't matter what these little labels are it's just to make things easier so you guys can see here it just updated all the labels, the buttons, things like that. And so all you gotta do is go ahead and select two versions. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just for the, again, for the, uh, for the ease of knowing what I'm switching between, I'm gonna go ahead and, and put the new, put the uh, versions back in there. And then I can go ahead and click browse. By default, it'll open up the folder where all your uh, my Minecraft jar files are. And unfortunately, I cannot provide this to you because of you know copyright reasons and whatnot but if you guys back up a copy of it or if you get it off of the internet places I cannot tell you but if you manage to get your hands on a jar for an older version if you want to switch between which is you know especially useful when there's a new update and say one server you play on hasn't updated to it but you still want to play single player this will let you just switch between that make things so much easier so once you have those two jar files selected you just gotta go ahead and click a button if you wanna switch to 1.41. Bam. 1.51. There you go. And two cool things I added was a backup and restore feature, which might not be something that's too important for people who are kinda organized and whatnot, but if you're a little worried, you're paranoid, you're not really sure what's gonna happen, one cool thing you can do is go ahead and just click backup current jar, and it'll back up whatever your Minecraft jar is. So you I would suggest just doing it before you start this for whatever reason if you don't think you have a backup and anytime if you messed up any of these jars you're switching through just click restore backup and it'll fix your backup to whatever you had it when you backed it up so you guys gotta keep in mind though obviously if you didn't use a backup at first this restore function isn't gonna work but besides that that's really all it is once you guys have these jar files selected you just gotta do a click and you're gonna be set so if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment or something like that. And if this if this is something that you guys like, just subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and uh, definitely it'd be nice to hear some feedback from anyone who downloads it. And another thing I wanted to mention was for anyone who's on Mac, uh, Mac OS, or maybe even Linux, if that's something you guys use. Uh, definitely I wanted to let you guys know that if this is something you'd want to use on there and you think it's useful if I can get something like a hundred likes you know something reasonable on this video I can go ahead and uh, port it to Java so pretty much recreate it because this was made in Visual Basics which isn't something I can just port over one thing I thought I'd add into the end is a little clip of me using the software just so you guys know it works and there's no doubts I'm going to go ahead and just go through the process of what I usually do. Got my 1.4, got my 1.5, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and launch the game and see what I'm at right now. So I can show you what I'm switching to. And uh, you guys can see I'm at 1.5. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of that. Go ahead and click switch. 1.4 and launch it up again.
It's loading really slow. <laughs> but, um, I can tell this is 1.4. There you go. And you guys can see it just switched to 1.4. And, uh, really easy. If I want to go right back to 5, which is what I'm going to stay at, actually. You know, it switches right back. And so, this is definitely going to help everyone out. And hopefully it helps you out, too. So, again, see you in the next video.